Hi, this is Ruth Hudson, educator with 3D Molecular Designs with another Chromosome Connection Kit Educator Insight video. Notice that I've already started my students with a collection of chromosomes because we're going to be modeling karyotyping today. They would receive these as a tissue sample uh, that was either taken through amniocentesis or chorion villi sampling, and I would ask them to culture the cells and get them ready for harvest. To do that, they're going to make sister chromatids. And I've pre-made these for time's sake. And when they're doing this, they can model the centromere, they can model the p-arm and the q-arm, and they can um, focus on the telomere. So now we've cultured our cells. It's taken about 72 to two hours, and now we're going to prepare them for microscopy. A technician would stain these so that you could see the banding patterns, but notice these don't have a banding pattern because they're foam, and we're not going to use stain on them. But it I would remind them of that. Technicians are also going to look at the location of the centromere and the length of the chromosomes. After taking and printing an image, they would then start pairing up the chromosomes and cut them out. So we're going to put them into sets based on length and location of centromere. So you can see I already moved out group one. There's group two. Since there's only six chromosomes, we're only going to have three sets. And these are left over. And even though they're not the, exactly the same, these are the sex chromosomes. And so I've got an X chromosome and a Y chromosome. And normally the Y chromosome would look more like this. But the way that the model is set up, it makes it look like a little, little X. That's another thing I'd ask my students to notice. So then technicians would analyze the the data by using a, um, an organizational chart and they would place the chromosomes on the organizational chart based on their length. The longest ones would be on first followed by the next pair of autosomes which will be these because they're an exact set and then finally our Y chromosome would be placed here and our X chromosome would be placed here. And there you have it. A um, example of a karyotype. This would be a karyogram now that we've analyzed the data. So hopefully this gives you some great ideas on how to better use your chromosome connection kit. Until next time, happy modeling.